Hey, what's going on, y'all? This your boy, Papa Yogito, coming at you with another League of Legends exclusive. We will be playing Yon, or Yone, the Yon Warrior in the mid lane. This is just a little something that I want to put together, a little bit of League commentary. I know a lot of League of Legends players don't mind watching the commentary. I'll make sure I try to condense it, you know, to where it's not like beating your brain out with 30 minutes of stuff. But at the same time, if the game is hot enough, you might just have to make it that long. But we'll see. But anyway, I've been playing a lot of Yone. I've been playing with my boy Joshy, fast as fuck boy, um, in the bot lane. But I just kind of want to actually just kind of make one on a, on a solo tip because that's how I mainly do things in the first place. There's just a lot of things that, that people got to know when it comes to the basics of the game. Now with me, for instance, I'll make it, I'll admit one thing is that I never tried to use the auto attack um, kiting ability. So when it comes to it, you're supposed to be able to press A and then press in the vicinity of any enemy champions within the vicinity of that of, of your radius, your attack radius, you attack them automatically. You don't have to click on them. I haven't been doing that. And I've been doing fairly decent without actually having to use that, without actually having to use that um, that technique. But ever since I figured it out, so I have it bound to my T key now. Because it's easier for me to, it's easy, I don't really have a risk of using my ult or using my flash or anything like that. You know, just because with your ult, you actually have to activate it a second time. So, um, just to eliminate any distractions, this is what I also do. I just, I, I mute everybody. I'm going to keep the pings open just because it's, it's important to have pings. But once people start over pinging, I mute them also. It's called focus. You're going to focus in the game. You want to make sure that you actually, you know, that you actually having a good time. Because by the end of the day, when stuff doesn't go anybody's way, that's when you start seeing the, seeing the real them. So Riot just went ahead and put out some new terms and policies. Pretty much is this an extra security blanket for them to say, hey, we told you you better be good because we about to start banning the shit out of people for reports. That's pretty much what I took that as. So um, I see Leech trying to clean up their community. You got a lot of toxic little kids. You got a lot of big streamers out there that promote the toxicity. And they don't really promote the toxicity. They're being toxic on their own, but it's just like, it's, it's more of a fact that these kids, they think that's what, you know, being a League of Legends player is all about. It's talking shit down on other people. Nobody likes to really promote ownership of games. So we're going to go ahead and try to see what we can do against this Vlad. This matchup can be really annoying. But as long as we stay away from his, I think it's his Q. So his Q is the one that gives him the life steal. The way you know that the counterplay against Vlad is, if you look at this bar right here, when it gets to halfway, he'll be able to use his lifestyle ability. So now it's charging up to full, right? Now, that's where you want to kind of stay away from it. You don't want him to be able to get you with the fully charged. Um, yep, then he's forced to use it now. All right, good. We're going to miss our Q. That's going to happen a lot when you Trust me. You're going to miss a lot of Qs. We're going to get some trade damage off on him. We're going to go back. I don't want him to get that Empower Q off on me. I want him to use it on a minion, which is less effective on a minion, I'm pretty sure. Still gives him some health, but he gets a lot more if he gets it off of me. Patience when it comes to this type of matchup is huge. Okay, we're behind in level just a smidge it, but it's okay. So he wants me to go in. The wave is going to push out. When the wave is stacked higher on their side, it's going to push to your tower eventually. The only thing the enemy team can do is, is speed it up. Solo wrecked it only. <laughs> I get a lot of my, my lane management advice from him. As do probably a lot of people. Big ups to him. Oh, we're just going to go back. It's a really patient lane in the beginning, man. I'm just telling you, it's just a lot of kids don't have that. They don't have the patience to, to, to manage their lane right to benefit them in the future. So we're going to miss a couple, but we're not going to do too bad. And he's going to take a free tower shot for that Empower Q that he got off on me. So, oh, no, he didn't get the Empower one off. He got the regular one off. So that's not really a good trade for him. At all. Life steal for nothing. 
All right, so we're going to shield ourselves before we go in for this trade. Yep. Yep, there we go. Got him to use the pool. Hecarim's a maniac. Good job. Nice game. Got his flash. There we go. All right, now we should be able to finish him off if he pushes up. We can definitely all in him. All right, so we got Hecarim and Cannon fighting over there. I hope Jax goes down and helps him. Okay, Vlad didn't actually go back. That's huge. Okay, he thinks he's safe. If he goes, if he pushes back up again. Woo! Woo! All right. So we're going to push that in the tower. He's not going to go back because he doesn't want to miss all that experience. He's kind of forced to stay. We're going to try to pressure him to stay. I feel like he's going to go in. <laughs> yep, there we go. Hey, stop their backs. Whatever you do, if you can stop their backs, that's a huge thing. Now he's going to miss that experience. Wave management, always push the wave to where it's under the tower, to where it's going to destroy all the minions, the whole line. Because what that ends up, what ends up happening is, is the wave bounces back to you, which means it's going to come back to your side of the tower. You want to always have some type of wave management. See, even though it looks even, it's not. This wave is actually going to push out slowly towards me. This, the math is weird, I know, but it's, it's going to happen. Trust me. I'm going to miss the cannon. But that's fine. He missed a whole lot of experience right here. He even missed a minion or two right here also. Um, looks like our bot lane's feeding to the Leona. Like this. Okay, Leona about to get a double kill. So it looks like he got a little bit more damage. Now, I can't perfectly tell you all the passives and stuff of all the champions, even though I've been playing this for almost 10 years. But I get a basic understanding. He got scared. He just wasted that ability for nothing. The only thing about Vlad is he doesn't use mana either, so we're both two mana -less ass champions just trying to make it in this world, you know? Just no magical power, just some regular degular old fellers. Okay, yeah, you wanted to get that off on me. Yep. Okay. He's gonna ult me? Alright, so this Vlad, I don't think is very good at all. If he comes and checks me, I'm, I'm all in him. Alright, so we're going to pop a couple potions. Now, he's going to think he's going to have the advantage on me because he's got me down by a little health. But that's fine. So, I know how this lane is going to be. So, this is a perfect learning tool. Learning, you know. See, what he doesn't realize is that pool ain't going to save him. So if you didn't know about Yon, when I go into that little spirit form, I can do damage and I can take damage the exact same way as if I was in my human form. The only difference is, is when I return back to my body, it does 20% damage on the way back. So it's like a little bit of an, a, a little mini execute, if you want to call it, right? It's a mini execute. So um, it's really nice. When you know you got him down at a smidgen, you know you got him. So when he... We might get a kill to where his pool won't even matter. So right now we got 52 is 40 farm. We're going to go ahead and roam by. I got ult. I'm ready to fight. Got him, coach. Could have hit my ult there, but it's all right. Good run by our part. We get red buff. We get to go back. Um, letting him know where, where, where Vlad is at. And we can go ahead. Good gank. That's a good gank. Hey, hey are y'all proud of me? I unlocked my screen. 
I just get paranoid because I be getting caught by people while I unlock my screen. I ain't gonna lie. Like, people be just be running. And I be seeing it happen to pros and high level. They be getting caught out. That's why I lock my screen most of the time because I was like, I know where I'm going. I'm looking at the map. I see where they're at. We're not missing this cannon. All right. All right, all right. We're looking really good right now. We're looking really, really good. Vlad wasted a, a roam. He's about to miss some more experience. Well, he's gonna miss some more farm. Just one. All right, so he went back and got a Fiendish Codex. I'm about to have my Phantom Dancer real soon. Probably after this next wave rotation. Couple rotations. A little bit of extra damage on the way back. Favorable trade. Oh, that's, I fucked up. Nope. Not gonna happen. Alright, I fucked up by going in with the Q. It happens. But we got him to use everything. We're gonna add some more attack speed. I forgot they have a damn Nocturne. That's gonna be hella annoying to deal with. All right, a little bit of momentum switch. Okay, the Hecker was doing the right thing, capping them. This Vladimir is going for late game scaling, but I'm gonna tell you this right now, man. I scaled just as well as Vladimir. Here's my thing, man. I only reason why I ban somebody and I ban Ziggs. I never ban Ziggs. It's because it was gonna make me do it. Yeah, you better use that. We're gonna be patient. I'm not gonna use my ult till I get a knock. Is he really trying to like freeze it out with one minion? It's crazy how these guys think that that's gonna hinder me from as soon as he walks up. Let's go push it out again. And this is unheard of, because usually Vlad's are the lane bullies. They'll push up the lane. We push everything under tower. I still got my, I still got my Ignite, too. Yep. No one power for you. Oh, fuck that up. Go ahead and grab this farm. You know, clear this wave out. I want to leave myself open for ganks. They have no mana. Where'd you go? Let's go, baby. Where are you going? We're going. That's a, that's a really hard tower to take down. He has nothing. He has nothing. Okay. That Nocturne's big, but it's all good. It's all good. He got the kill. That's all that matters. Good job. All right. All right, let him know. Let him know I know what I'm talking about. I got two successful roams. Can't help the Rift Herald. That's a good play on their part to get him some gold, but that's the only way that Vlad's gonna be able to get gold. Yeah, I can make a play towards um, Dragon. 
if he takes my tower, no big deal. Let him have it. Um, we'll just keep farming up. We'll keep doing our thing. We'll keep bot lane slowed down. That that silver ain't getting no work done right now. That silver ain't getting no work done right now. I thought he was gonna jump over with me, but it's whatever. Oh, what's up, fam? <laughs> what's up, fam? <laughs> This Vlad ain't doing nothing to help his team out right now. He just he doing typical Vlad things. Just staying man. Yeah, go ahead and get that tower pill. We get objectives around here. It's fine. I mean that's an objective too, but like it's whatever. That's the right play by him. Get first tower, get as much gold as he can, but it ain't gonna matter by the end of the game. I'm already at a point where I feel confident enough where he's not gonna do anything to me. I'm actually probably gonna get um Maybe a Wits in third item. How are they looking on AP? Yeah, Wits in looks like that'll be the move right there. They got two AP, and Kennen's actually going AP. Let's go help our top lane out. That doesn't mean we can't roam still just because they took our tower. You can't let that shit get to you. You know, you got some people who get wrapped up, you know, saying in that type of stuff, and it's just like, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. That's a that's a dead Kennen, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well. Oh, don't step to me, Vlad. Don't step to me. Ah, oh, yeah! Woo! <laughs> oh! He about to be a clip! Oh, shit, I'm about to die. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. He about to be a clip and a half, baby. It's all right. All I have right now is my, is my Phantom Dancer. Once I start get once I get like a BF or something, I'm gonna start popping. But that was, um, that was close. He had his pool right on time. Right on time. Woo! I got excited. Man, if we had a tank, we could have built Frozen Heart. I almost want to build it on myself if I get to a certain point. Because that's going to slow down his auto attacks. This Jax is still big. We're still big. It's no big deal that um that we're taking deaths here or there. Um, I want to go back down by. I want to stay active. At this point, we stay active. We got to try to keep the momentum flowing. He hasn't really been showing bot too much, um, too much love. Okay. I need to get a scanner. Right now, we don't really have a, a safe wave to go to, so this is what we do. We counter gank. There we go. Get that wards cleared. There we go. There we go. That's what daddy wanted you to do. They don't know I'm here. Nocturne's gonna hold. I'm almost certain. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We got the flash. Just the mere presence of us, just... I don't know why she just... Okay, I thought she just used it. Okay, that was karma. I'm about to say, did, did she just use heal? All right, we're going to get a little damage. Usually, I like to get more crit, but I think we need a little bit more damage for Nocturne, you know, to pop him a little bit. All right, he's, he's running the, the Rift the Rift Herald game on him, but that's okay. That's okay. They're probably going to use it on top lane. Yeah. All right, so we got to try to run up here. Yeah, they're definitely probably going to take you, and they're probably going to try to jump on him. I 
I don't want them to see me. Push it out. I wanna, I wanna play, I wanna do an alcove play. Cause they're probably gonna jump on the jacks. Baby, get fucked. Fucking alcohol play. I'll let him get that cannon. We might be able to get some more money off of this. We die for this. Teammates are dying. We die for this. Yeah, that's got to make them really livid right now. That, that's got to... Oh, my God. What is it? Oh, my God. Yeah, they got that. I mean, I could I could make them run to steal it. But I don't... It's not Windrake. If it was Windrake, I would have been able to make it. But we got really good objectives up top. See, a lot of people that, that play this game, they get themselves wrapped around the wrong thing. It's okay sometimes to let a lane push. Like, you notice I ain't been back mid lane since they used the rift, really. Why put yourself in danger over a wave because of some silly pride? Like, some people get really prideful and they just want to keep pushing. It's not the way to go. Make plays around the map. Keep your bot lane in the game. You know what I mean? Keep your bot lane in the game. Right now, our bot lane is, oh shit, our fucking Bane's five and two. Like, our team right now on paper, the way everything's looking, is supposed to dominate right now. Just based off of the kills, um, Bane could be doing better in farm, but that's neither here or there. Um, we need to, we're going to just sit here and kind of be like a little bit of protection for the Bane. Be the pill for her. We got our ult. We're going to let her get priority. You know? We protecting her. We letting her know we got her back. Let's go ahead and clear this out. Okay, nothing over here. What's up with it? I got a BF sword now. So, I mean, we're doing a little bit more damage. A lot more damage. We almost got enough for our, um, our next crit item. We're just chilling. We're assassinating. We're chilling. We don't even have to. Yep, yep, yep. I'm ready. Oh, here comes knock. Uh-oh. Yep, they're four-man ganks blown the fuck up now. They, they they tried to be a little sneaky. I see you. We got all the juice, man. We got all the momentum right now. Okay, so they got to go bot to match that, but that's okay. We're going to clear this out. We're chilling. There goes knock right there. Nobody's going to be able to protect Sivir. Sivir's probably tilted by now. Yeah, she's 3-5 and... and and no one and four i'm sorry leona's been taking all the kills i forgot all right so yeah now we're in a really good spot this is this is where i'm, I'm glad that it's taken to this turn yep Got him. Got one. That was a really bad ult, though. I, I tried to predict it. I tried to predict, man, and I didn't knock any of them up. That's bad. That's just bad luck right there. That's bad luck right there. It's going to happen, but we still got one out of that. So, you know, it is what it is, right? We still got one. We're still out here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to condense this video down. Um, So, y'all don't have to sit here and watch me through. So, yeah, talking point. Oh, unless I have a talking point. All right, so what happened there? I missed my ult. Literally the only reason why we hard lost that fight. Other than that, I hit my ult. We're doing fine. Silver lining. 
We got an actual kill from it. A whole 300 smackaroos to be exact. So we got to get these next Ocean Drakes, man. Ocean Drake will be really good for us. And it'd be really bad if they were able to get Ocean Soul. But the path to Ocean Soul for them is a long one. And unless this game's like almost an hour long, I don't see it lasting that long in the first place. So let's go ahead and farm up. So we let the vein catch up a little bit in farm. So we're now we're going to start actually competing for farm. So one of the biggest things is, is knowing when to compete for farm, right? Knowing when to, because because that's what happens in the middle to, to late game, is you start competing for farm in lane because laning phase is now over. So picking and choosing when to compete for farm, I think is really important because that, you know, look, take a, just take a look at your teammates farm, see how they are. Since she was already doing good with kills, she just needs to catch up with, with farm and she's good. So we're gonna put this here. Just in case they try to set a little ward there. It's a little common spot. Oh! Oh! We got some big damage there! <laughs> Yo! There you go, Jax! Y'all got to stop backs next time, man. Give him a time to push. We got that 700 gold smackdown, though. Let's see. So I think third item, I definitely want to go. Yeah, I definitely want to go um, wits in for my third item. It also gives me some form of life steal. I heal for the certain amount of damage that I actually, percentage of the damage that I actually um, deal in that situation. So, all right, that's gonna be an Ocean Drake for us. I don't know if this is gonna be a one fight though. This doesn't look too good. Okay, Jax is here. Jax is going all in. He's going straight for the right one. That's a good jump by the Jax. Hecarim's going in, defending the back line like he's supposed to. Sivir's getting some free damage off, but it doesn't matter because Hecarim comes in with the ult, we're going to try to come in and help finish it off. We're going to ignite him. Go ahead and hit him with that. And then, boom, we're going to finish it off. There we go. That should be a G to the motherfucking G. That should be a Baron. We should be getting that. But we're going to go ahead and get Towers. Oh, he does. He's, he's, he's dead, so they don't feel confident in getting it. Which I guess that's a safe move. Get a Tower. Woo! Let's go. I got a little bit of casting skills, you know, just a little bit. So Jax was going after the absolute right one in that scenario. Is he doing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hecarim's coming. I got oh. I'm gonna go. Fu I'm gonna fuck Nocturne up if he steps up. Oh, <laughs> we're doing so much damage to these guys. It's ridiculous. All right. I don't know if we, okay, okay. There we go. The team's here, but I don't know. Ken is getting a lot of damage off, but so is Vayne. Oh my God. Jax does what he wants. Vayne's coming in. Looks like we get another fight. We're going to throw the GG in there and we're going to say a job well done. Macro, macro, macro. It's all about making the right decisions by the end of the game, right? Did I let it did I let it get down on me that they took my tower first? No. I just kept ganking. You gotta read you gotta read the you gotta read the room when it comes to to your lane, right? What was the Vlad doing? He was staying really conservative. He just wanted to farm. You can tell he just wanted to farm. He really wanted no parts in the fight. What fights with me whatsoever, which is understandable. And he was he like I said, he was saving his pool for my knockup every time, thinking he was doing some sort of counterplay but if i'm already doing damage to you while i'm in spirit form i'm gonna do damage to you whether you're in your pool or not so with saying that with saying that you know this is where we come up with the with the possible dubbage did he boo boo good good got it all out your system that's probably what it was that was making him cranky in the morning 
probably had the boo-boo. I know that feeling. So right now, we're, it's just like the victory push, man. Because right now... Oh, we're going to kill him. Yeah, yeah. This, this Nocturne has become highly irrelevant. Highly irrelevant since the early game. Dead. Oh well. Wow. <laughs> She's just keeping his fucking Oh well. It was a good try. So um death stance. We're going to go ahead and get some another call, get a Caulfield's Warhammer. Get a little bit more damage and cooldown reduction. This game ain't over yet, but it's pretty much over, man. I mean, at this point, us doing that was not because we felt like we were going to win the fight. We felt like we were going to win the fight, but Leona's stuns are just so OP. So, so OP. So, so OP. Um, by the time I get up, I'll be able to get a pot. Elixirs, make sure if your inventory is full, as in, you don't, you're not, maybe not full builder, but if it's full and you can't add anything else and you got 500 smackaroos in the bank, make sure you buy your elixir that's appropriate for you or appropriate for the situation. Shit, sometimes I buy the elixir of irons just to give me that tankiness and health so I can fight people more in battle with Yon. Like, Yon is so interchangeable. Like, you can build Yon as tank and still do a decent amount of damage. Um, a lot of people don't realize that. Build him Conquer or um, build him with Grass. Oh, my bad. That was a bad one. We're gonna focus on the dragon. I don't know why these guys haven't quit yet, to be honest with you. There we go. Right on cue. 4 0, 4 1. We out here catching the dub. Make sure you like and subscribe. I hope the video was helpful. It's my first commentary one in a while. Love y'all. Check me out on Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Peace. Love you.